Hi, Assalamualaikum and very good morning. So now we're going to do tutorial discussion for chapter 2, thermochemistry. But now we're going to focus on 2.1 concept of enthalpy, focusing on tutorial question 1 and question 2 respectively. Without any further ado, let us start. So for question 1, consider the following reaction, where one mole of hydrogen gas reacting with half of oxygen gas in order to produce water vapor. So uh, the enthalpy change given here is negative 241.8 kilojoule. So in question E, we have to sketch the energy profile diagram for the above reaction. So we know that H2 and oxygen gas are going to react as a reactant and water vapor here acting as a product. And it is an exothermic reaction because it gives a negative value here. So you know that the level of the reactant is going to be higher than the product. And the energy drops here, or the energy difference here, going to give a negative value. Okay, and in order for us to put it nicely, uh, we have to start with the axis of the energy profile diagram. Where we have the energy on the y axis, and the reaction progress or reaction time on the x axis. Alright, and our reactant here going to be hydrogen gas and oxygen gas, and our product going to be water vapor. And the energy difference between the product and the reactant is negative 241.8 kilojoule. And these are the energy profile diagram for this reaction stated here. Okay, and it is important for you to write the species given in the question and not just writing reactant. So if you write reactant, then your energy profile diagram is wrong. You have to be specific to the um, question given here okay and for question b they ask us which enthalpy is larger that of the reactant or the product so this one is obviously a reactant so we can just put it as reactant and for question c for the reaction of two h2o gas going to two mole of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas one mole of oxygen gas what is the enthalpy change under the same condition so Given here in the question, given here the thermochemical equation in the question is hydrogen gas uh, plus half of oxygen gas produces water, one mole of water, and the term, and the enthalpy change is negative two for one point eight kilojoule. So as what you can see here, um, the given in the equation, the water is on the product side, but what we need to find is in the reactant side. So we have to bring the water here to the reactant. Meanwhile, the reactant here, we have to bring it to the product so that we have almost the similar position to the target equation here. Okay, so we're going to bring H2O on the reactant side and hydrogen gas and oxygen gas on the product side. Okay, so we've changed that and once we change the position, our enthalpy change also have to be changing in sign. From negative, it needs to be changed into positive. But the magnitude is still the same because it refers to the same number of mod. But now, here to here, we have to multiply by 2 because we need to have 2 mole of water. Here only have 1 mole. So we have to multiply by 2. So we have one mole of hydrogen. In order to produce two mole of hydrogen, we have to multiply by two. Half oxygen multiplied by two, we're gonna get one mole of oxygen, the same as our target equation here. So we need to multiply everything by two. And once you multiply the equation, you also need to multiply the enthalpy change. So the whole thing here need to be multiplied by two, okay? So delta H here are going to be 2 multiplied by positive 241.8 kilojoule and this will going to produce plus 483.6 kilojoule. Alright, so the enthalpy change under the same condition of 2 mole of water and in order to produce 2 mole of hydrogen gas and oxygen gas is going to be 483.6 kilojoule. Alright, that's for question 1. And for question 2, from the following data, 2 mole of ferrum solid produce uh, reacting with 
3 over 2 of oxygen gas in order to produce Fe2 or 3 solid. So we need to define and determine the enthalpy of combustion of the iron. So given here is that the equations that in the equation as well as the enthalpy change. So this is the thermochemical equation given. Now we need to do the enthalpy of combustion of iron, which is the ferrum here. Okay. So in order to do that, you need to understand what is meant by enthalpy of combustion. So we have to look back at the definition of enthalpy of combustion um, as written in the lecture of 1.1 part 2. So if you haven't watched the video, you can watch it now. Okay. So as you look in the lecture video, you can see that the enthalpy, the standard enthalpy of combustion uh, means that the heat released when one mole of substance is burned completely in excess oxygen under standard condition. But now, we only want the enthalpy of combustion so we can ignore the standard here and also ignore the standard condition written here. So what it really means that only one mole of substance is burned. So we need ferrum, but only one mole burn in excess oxygen in order to produce a substance, another substance, which is Fe2 or 3. Okay, so it comes from the ferrum 2 plus, 3 plus, sorry, and O2 minus. So you will get Fe2 or 3. Now, you have to balance the equation. So you have one ferrum here, but two ferrum here. So you need to put 1 over 2. Okay. And the oxygen here gonna have 3 over 2. So you gonna write as 3 over 4 here. So that 6 over 4 equal to 3 over 2. Okay, so it balances both on the right hand side as well as on the left hand side. Okay, so on the left hand side, one ferrum. 1 ferrum because 1 over 2 multiplied by Fe2 here. 3 over 2 of oxygen gas and here is also the same which is 3 over 2 of the um, oxygen. Okay. 6 over 4 equal to 3 over 2. Alright. And as what you can see here, from the given equation to this equation, everything is divided by 2. Okay, 2 ferrum, 1 ferrum, 3 over 2 oxygen, going to be 3 over 4 oxygen. 1 mole of F2O3, going to be half of Fe2O3. So everything is divided by 2. So you can say that the enthalpy change will also be divided by 2. Alright, so the enthalpy change will also be divided into 2. So to put it nicely, um, you divide everything by 2 and the enthalpy change will also be divided by 2. So negative 8 to 2.2 divided by 2 going to have negative 411.1 kilojoule per mole. Alright, so the, the enthalpy change of the combustion of iron going to have this value which is negative 411.1 kilojoule per mole. Alright, so I think that's all for tutorial video of 2.1 um, of the thermochemistry. So see you again in the next video. Bye!